Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com, and today what we're talking about is uh, catching bass in the springtime. So this is the time of year, uh, you know, it depends on where you are in the United States, but when it starts, but this is when bass are going from their winter um, patterns, you know, where they're down deep, where the, where the temperatures are just stable so they can survive the winter, and they're starting to move up towards the more shallow parts of the lakes and rivers and ponds, wherever they are, uh, based on water temperature. So the springtime is when you get the pre-spawn, uh, which is basically 50 to 55 degrees. Uh, and the spawn, you know, when the actual bass are going to lay their eggs and spawn and things like that. So depending on where you are, I mean, I'm in, down here in Florida, so our pre-spawn is in January usually, you know. Um, yeah, and depending on what part of Florida, I guess, because I'm down here in South Florida, but, you know, I guess if you're up by Tallahassee, you know, things are a little later and colder. So it really just depends upon where you are. But the bottom line is the spring is the best time to get your personal best bass. Uh, the bass are just aggressive and hungry after a long winter, and they got to beef up their energy supplies so they can make some babies. So let's just go ahead and talk about that a little bit more. All right spring bass fishing uh, tips and techniques so that's what this is going to be about and really fish are very predictable you know i'm a kayak fishing guide here on the treasure coast and i don't care if it's a bass a tarp and a snook a redfish whatever it is uh, if you know the temperature of the water and you know where what they need to eat is you can find these things you can pretty much figure out where the, where the fish are it's it's mainly about temperature because fish act a certain way given a certain temperature, certain water temperature. So you really just have to find those water temperatures that they like and you'll find the fish. It's really that simple. So I've broken down bass fishing into five, I mean, four different temperature ranges. Okay. So we're going to start with 50 degrees and below. That, to me, that's winter fishing, well, based on where you are. Again, I'm in South Florida, so pretty much nothing down here gets to 50 degrees. But um, so wherever you are, that's your, this is your winter fishing and uh, bass fishing. And you know they're going to be deep and they're going to be slow and cold. So you've got to fish deep and slow if you want to catch wintertime bass. Simple as that. Okay. Once the water heats up to above 50, 50 to 55, bass start thinking, they start their pre-spawn behavior. And pre-spawn just means they're going to go from the deeper waters and start moving up towards the shallow places where they're going to be bedding and spawning and things like that later. So you find these fish, you know, moving from the deep to the shallow. So as the, as the parts of wherever lake or pond or whatever are heating up, you know, based on water temperature, again, that's where you're going to find the fish. And these fish are hungry. These fish have been all winter long, really not eating very much. So you're going to find them in the shallower water or by drop-offs and things like that because they're thinking about fattening up because they need energy for the spawn. So this is your pre-spawn fish. And, and that's why this is spring because it doesn't, you, you don't know where, when this is going to happen. Uh, but it's all going to happen in the springtime, but some later and some sooner. You know, pre-spawn might not happen in some place really cold until, you know, March or, or you know, April even. You know, you just, it's, it's all about temperature. It's all about temperature. All right, and once the water temperatures get a stable, they stabilize, you know, for at least you know, a week or 10 days or so between 55 and 60, that's when the bass are going to start spawning. So they've made their, they've found their areas where they're going to lay their, eggs and, and spawn and and that's where you're going to find them so this is going to be a shallow water uh, area that's going to be protected shallow water that's where they want to bed usually by some sort of structure so you're going to be fishing shallow for bass in this water temperature right here that's the spawn and they're eating basically everything this is when you can really start throwing all your favorite lures your those crank baits and your spinner baits and things like that you know this the winter bass, everything's got to be moving real slow. But uh, this and this is uh, time of this water temperature. You really speed up your retrieves and really start using basically everything in your tackle box. And, you know, once it gets over 60, 
you know, the bass are basically everywhere. So it's hard to fish. It's hard to find them because they can be anywhere in the pond. They might be down deep. They might be shallow. They might be in cover. They might be staging, you know, somewhere in the water column. You just don't know where they're going to be. They might, they might be suspended all over the place. So it's, you just got to find bait in this scenario, what they're feeding on. But um, these, you kind of know where they are. From, so from there to there to there, you really know where they are. So in the springtime, you just want to figure out where those flat, suitable areas for bedding are going to be and make sure you fish somewhere near there. You know, you might see the, nail, the males up there looking around for the bed, the smaller males, and you'll know that the um, females are going to be probably in deeper water, but somewhere very near where they're going to bed. You know, that's just how they, how they roll. Uh, the fish are all moving from deeper water into more shallow water as the water warms up. That's, that's something else you know. And it is your best shot at getting your personal best bass. Those big, fat sows, uh, you know, are hungry, and they need the energy to make a bunch of babies. So, you know, that's really when you're probably going to have your best shot at getting your nice, big, fat bass. So let's look at the best baits. You know, the best baits, you know, it depends on how you like the fish, really. But reaction baits are all going to work now. So all these fast uh, types of baits, you know, spinner baits. I basically fish with spinner baits and, you know, plastic of some sort, you know, probably 90% of the time. Except when the, I can find the bass on the beds. I love running a buzz bait over a bunch of shallow water uh, bass beds. Just get those crazy top water, you know, strikes. Uh, but your suspending jerk baits are going to work great, and your crank baits, you know, just cover a lot of water, find out where the fish are in a certain area. So these are going to be your great baits for basically the temperatures, your springtime temperatures that go from 50 to 60 degrees, you know, for the pre-spawn and the spawn. But that's the best time of year to go bass fishing. You know, you can catch, they're super aggressive, they're hungry, you know, uh, the males will kill anything that gets near their nest. So it's a really good time to fish. Uh, springtime bass fishing. But I think that's it. You know, you can go to our website, www.fishyourassoff.com, and we have everything about saltwater, freshwater, whatever. It's all on there. It's basically a how to fishing website to help fishermen catch more fish. That's it for today. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye bye.